Yeah, 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 yeah. We live. All the way live. We live in the building. It's the Daniel and Tito podcast. We back. In the house. Good morning, good morning. Definitely, definitely. We are in the building. We're back with another episode. Uh-huh. I'm Daniel. I'm Tita. Aisha. I'm Dip to the Lane. Man, man, we're back with another joint. Yeah, man. It feels good to be back. It I does. Look, man, I look, I look forward to our, our Saturdays. I ain't going to lie. Definitely, man. I look, man, I love it. Let's get into the sponsors because they pay the bills. Always. You know what I mean? So, www.waywardkid.com, your site for all your entertainment news, sports, and lifestyle trends. They also have the Wayward Kid Foundation for all your edit, you know, for the editing programs for the kids and adults as well. So, make sure you visit them at www.waywardkid.com. Like their Facebook page, Wayward Kid, and follow them on IG, Wayward Kid Online. Mm -hmm. Check them out. We also have Kiwi Juice Bar, all natural smoothies, sports nutrition, supplements, fresh pressed juice, gourmet coffee and tea, protein bars, healthy snacks, and nutritional education. All right, and we also have I Shine, You Shine, We Shine, We Shine Detailing, Make Your Car Shine Like New. Definitely, definitely. And Bush's Wings and Things, come get them wings and things. You know what I'm saying? So... They got a lot of good food over there. They got that macaroni. I saw the picture of the macaroni mm-hmm. there and that cornbread. Man. Stop playing. Them they yams no look joke. good. Yeah, them yams is on they're, point. Their yams are never going to be this. There go Tita talking. Mm. <laughs> 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 hey, but um, yeah, man, check them out. Uh, Monday through Friday, they are open from 12 to 5. You have to go pick it up or they will deliver in the area. Your local Phoenix. Other menu. Yeah, so mm-hmm. go like their Facebook page, Butchers Wings and Things. Butchers with a Z, Wings with a Z, and Things. With a Z. With a Z. With a Z. Novels by Z, the game isn't only for boys. Experience the game told from the other side. Man, check out Novels by Z. It's novelsbyz.com. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they can't see you showing the book. They got the book in their hand. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I, I, that was your cue to put the book, uh, put yeah, the camera on her. Nah, I, I don't want to get We're no shine. We're doing sponsor. We're doing <laughs> Novels by Z, um, it's, it's a dope book. We always, we're, we're still doing the reviews on it uh, mm-hmm. on the show, so you get uh, stay stay with us with that. We keep you updated with the book. Novelsbyz.com. Get your copy, and you will get it signed. Who's our top donator? Ms. Dr. Muhammad. Ms. Muhammad. Our Muhammad. top donator with the book coming out very soon. Mm-hmm. We'll know the name very soon, hopefully soon. Yep. Yep. Like our Facebook page, Daniel, Daniel T. The, T. the podcast. podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube, Daniel and Tita. Listen to. Daniel T. The Podcast on, on all. Spotify. And all your streaming, wherever you listen to podcasts. All also, too. family. Family. We still have a, a missing child out there. Man. So, you know, you see her face on the screen. If you see any child out there that looks like this this young lady right here. She's actually, uh, the last appearances were in um, Texas. And there's rumors that she might be in Oregon. Man. So, if you see anyone that looks like her, please contact your local authorities. You know, please take care of these children out here, man. Most definitely. Also, we have some uh, we have some new sponsors as well. So out of the Trinity Solutions, they're part of the team now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We'll start pushing them. We'll start pushing them more next week. Right. And also, KT Gibson with his new song. KT. Low Main, stop playing. Low Main. Yeah, I like the Low Main. So, yeah, man. The song's pretty fire too. I like that. Oh, it's dope. It's pretty dope. We're gonna we're gonna bump it. But right now, let's get into our guest. Was everybody been waiting for? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Our guest is representative from the Phoenix Local Organization Committee. How you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Introduce good yourself. Good morning to the family. Good morning to the family. <laughs> All right, family. My name is Jermaine Shoulders, um, or Brother Jermaine, I like to be called. Um, I am uh, a member of the Phoenix Local Organizing Committee uh, for Justice or Else yes, uh, sir. here in the city of Phoenix. I am actually the head uh, of the Ministry of Information mm. uh, for the, uh, Phoenix, or the local, uh, Phoenix Local Organizing Committee. Yes, sir. And I want to thank you all for having me this morning. Well, we thank you, boss, for coming in. Absolutely. Definitely. You, you know, I know y'all definitely go out there and make a difference uh, in, the, in the community. So what's some of the things that y'all 
doing within the community? Well, I'm going to tell you, I just want to be clear um, right off the bat that, um, you know, Phoenix Local Organizing Committee, we're not a, a protest mm -hmm. organization, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, and we are not, you know, um, you know, we, we're, we're the solution. We're the solution. Okay. Okay. That's what we are. We are, we are beyond what the protest is. Okay. okay. Um, and we, we're... <laughs> When the people ask what's next, mm -hmm. that's where the Phoenix Local Organizing Committee comes in because we okay. provide that. Okay. All right. So our focus is that's number nice. one is educating our ch own children. Mm -hmm. All right. Providing jobs for our people in the community, providing Definitely. an economic base. Mm -hmm. Right. And really sovereignty. Yeah. Okay. Good. We're looking to not um, be a part of a system that doesn't really want, you know, what we have to offer as a people. Right. So let's not go. What? Why not go back to the future? And uh, do what our ancestors did um, less than a century ago. Right. And build for self. So that's what we're about. Yes, sir. How long have you been with the committee? Um, I've been with the organization for about two years now. Two and, years. Right. And as a minister of um, the Ministry of Information, as the head of the Ministry of Information for mm -hmm. about uh, six months now. Oh, wow. wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so you kind of, the committee kind of is... Uh, it's a grassroots organization. Right, okay. Right? Okay, so we're definitely volunteer-based. Volunteer-based, right? okay. And everyone is basically doing the work um, right. um, without worrying about, you know, what what's on the end of it for us. It's, it's right. about what's what's best for the community. So more of awareness, would you say? It, it's awareness, but it's also solutions. So solutions. we're actually okay. creating structures. We're actually creating um, opportunities. We're actually okay. creating industry. We're actually creating... Um, what what's called institutions. Okay. Okay. Um, for per perpetuity. This is not for. Uh, this is what I mean by not being a protest organization. Right. We're not here just as a reaction. Okay. To mm -hmm. what's going on, we're here as a solution based okay. response. Right. Mm -hmm. To what we're seeing today. Right. And that's what a lot of people say. Sometimes you know when you have a lot of uh, disorganized noise. <laughs> who in the middle of the chaos is going to come and bring a structure to what's going on. Absolutely. And uh, you, just like uh, Black Lives Matter, a lot of people, they want to point and blame fingers and point fingers at them and say, hey, mm -hmm. what structure are you bringing and what are you bringing to these causes and these causes? It's not always up to them. It's other groups that's going to be able to round things out, bring laws to the table, mm -hmm. and be able to bring things to the table that will make actual change. Because just yelling and screaming does not bring actual change. It's, right. it's right. always has it has to be a, a laws and uh, things and um, objectives that have to be met. I mean, there's no sense of um, 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 bringing awareness to something without mm -hmm. having a plan on how to execute it. Correct. Right, right, right. Correct. That, that's kind of where we as a people have fallen off. You right. know, in, in a sense where we got caught up in the civil rights thing. We got mm -hmm. caught up in, you know, people ac accepting us as right. opposed to, first of all, us accepting ourselves. Correct. So, right. the, the you know, the Phoenix LOC, mm -hmm. um, as we say for short, um, there's no ambiguity there as, okay. you, as you have with Black Lives Matter. Because okay. you have the philosophy of the Black Lives Matter right. and then you have the actual nitty-gritty movement that leaves it open to being co-opted. Right. Okay? okay. So there is no other... There is no way of co-opting what we're doing okay. because there is structure, and that's right. the whole point. That's what we lack: structure mm -hmm. and organization. So that's what we provide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does the um, the committee uh, work with other organizations? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we're not an island. You okay. Know, yeah, mm -hmm. we definitely are um, are um, very interested in coalition building. Right. You know what I mean with, with other groups. Because I know that you know we got the the Black Lives Matter. Movements out there in the streets, right. they protest. Mm -hmm. um, you're saying you, 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 you're, the community's not really with the protesting, but mm -hmm. do you communicate with Absolutely. the Black okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, there is a coalition, an active coalition. Okay. Um, right. with, with, uh, you know, and everybody does what they do. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, and when there's a central issue, like the Deion Johnson issue, for right. example, right, right. We, we all come together and we say, hey, you know, this is what has to happen. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we did. You Definitely. know, our, our Ministry of Defense actually was with the family. Okay. Um, and we had other coalitions and other groups involved, um, especially with the first uh, the first press conference that they had. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So definitely. Does the community work with the local authority as well? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Depends on what capacity. <laughs> Depends on how do you feel about the um, the sheriff, Miss um, Williams? Well, um, 
you know, the sister has a tough job. Definitely. You know what I mean? And, and she has to, you know, uh, uh, not only govern what happens, you know, in her department, but she has to look out what happens for the entire city. Correct. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. um, I'm not going to judge the sister by, you know, what she has or hasn't done. I'll mm-hmm. just say, look at the community and let that answer the question. Mm-hmm. Where are we improving? Correct. You know what I mean? So everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, there's an opportunity for us as a people to take the reins mm-hmm. and decide what we're going to do for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so Chief Jerry can do what Chief Jerry does. She's beholden to the system. Mm-hmm. And she's going to do what the system does, so I don't expect much out of her um, as much more than what she's been able to do at this point. Are we actively talking to her and dealing with her? No. Okay. Um, but there is... Um, Observation on activity. Let's okay. put it that way. And, okay. and, and as the yep. head of the, of you know, as part of the Ministry of Information, that's my job. You know, to keep in, to keep an eye on on things like that. But okay. you know, she's going to do what she's going to do. Right. And mm-hmm. at this point, you know, brothers and sisters, we're not. You know, we have to do what we have to do. Right. And right. that needs to be our focus. Definitely. Um. What's the, what's the history of LOC? Um, it, it starts back. That's a good question, and um, I would invite you to ask uh, to ask to have the brother Jamaica, Jamaica yes. Muhammad on as well. Right. Okay. Um, to, I would love to have him on. To, um, <laughs> yeah. More of the in depth history. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but it does come from you know that brother is pretty much the nucleus. Um, he is the chairman. He's the, the chairman. Okay. Yeah. So yes, sir. he's the one that you know who put it all together. Put there it all the together, and mm-hmm. he manages everything, and he's the one pretty much managing, you know, the ministry heads and the, okay. and the entire organization. But it's a five-year-old organization that mm-hmm. we just celebrated our 50th anniversary. Okay. Um, and it came out of, it was born out of the uh, Million Man March. Okay. Um, okay. The yep. original one, all right. as the brother likes to um, expound on. Right. Um, as he went, you know, back then, and yep. you're talking... Uh, 1995. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was there as a child. <laughs> oh, you were, huh? <laughs> I was there as a child. Okay. All right. So you were there. That's yeah. awesome. At that time, yes, I was in my early 20s. Um, mm-hmm. So um, I was just starting a young family. So I couldn't. I was living in California. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't yes, make sir. that trip. But I actually knew a brother and worked with a brother um, who actually did and um, did try and invite me. But it comes from that. And it's the spirit of doing for self. Mm-hmm. What did the minister put on the brothers out there, you know, at, at the park? And, okay. And, um, at, in D.C., rather. And that was the impetus for what the brother Chamikas, you know, decided right. to bring when, when he came to Phoenix. And, mm. um, and five years ago, um, about a month ago, we celebrated that, you know, he just went out to the community mm. and um, hit up the barbershops. And, right. uh, you know, he ran into me at uh, some organization about two years ago mm-hmm. and just, you know, sold, sold the idea on me. And here I am. Yes, sir. Man. Is it um, based in, in religion, or is it just no? There's no. no, no you don't have to be a part no, of the religion or anything. No, not okay. at all. There's no. I'm, my spiritual belief is mm-hmm. not. I'm not down with you know. As far as the nation of Islam itself, okay. I'm not a member. Never been a member. Okay, um, and not looking to be one. Okay, it doesn't come from that. It's it's based in the idea of what Malcolm put down as well. Okay, as when he put down his his organization, he said you can be a Christian, you can be right. whatever religious yeah. faith you want to be. Mm-hmm. Understand the system that we in. Yeah. So. This is ours anyway, right? But it was just given to us in a certain way. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. by our oppressor, right? You know, so we're calling ourselves Christian because the oppressor Definitely. called us that. We're calling right. ourselves mm-hmm. uh, Baptists and Muslim because that's what the oppressor put on us. So let's keep that out. Mm-hmm. Let's think black right. first. Only right. thing we are—that's why I'm at. Yeah, right. yeah. It don't matter if you gay. It don't matter mm-hmm. if you, you know, poor. It don't right. matter if you, right. you black. Let me give you a round of applause for that, sir. Man, you know what I'm saying so. We all trying to get to the same place. Yes, absolutely, man, right. and, and that's where it comes from. So mm-hmm. when Malcolm, you know, put that out there, you know, it's like, hey, man, it doesn't matter at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, right. even, even you know, MLK kind of came to that, you know, in, in the later part of his life, mm-hmm. man, and that's what cost him his life, actually. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, a, a lot of people like to talk about um, Malcolm's early, earliest teachings, mm-hmm. and they don't talk about his later teachings when he was more about conclusion right. and mm-hmm. more about uh, love of all after he took his right. uh, trip to to Israel and the right. motherlands, and right. he, he learned these things, and he seen that it was he saw that there were so many different people and and all the religions and people from the uh, across true. the spectrum that were together, and um, and he saw that, and he brought that back here, and he wanted to to 
see that teachings here. Absolutely. So, and he was more conclusive as he, you know, as before his life ended. So, but he definitely. Didn't, he didn't rely on that. Right. That's, right. that's the thing I want to impress on people. He didn't rely on that support. Mm -hmm. He acknowledged the importance of it. Right. And his change of understanding uh, on what he thought was the right, right way as far as how to deal with the yeah. white man mm -hmm. when he saw a better way mm -hmm. in that sense. Um, but he still made it about be one he right yes speak, and i so think that's a big thing relying have to remember that. relying we can't that's a big word yeah, yeah. relying yeah. and that's what you know we are you know victims of Damn, you know, definitely we decide to acquiesce our mm -hmm. power and our strength and not realizing mm -hmm. who we really are mm -hmm. a brainwashing of their 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 better their products are absolutely better. their way is better you're talking Actually, 150 160 years right, yeah. right. of well really you want to get technical 400 and More. some odd years but <laughs> yeah yeah if you want to just bring it you know post slavery mm -hmm, you definitely know, you know slavery never ended right yeah. <laughs> So no, it's a mental slavery that definitely. you have to overcome. Absolutely, also. but there was a physical slavery. It was Jim, it was uh, Jim Crow. There was yeah, you know a lot, all the a lot black of mental codes damage, and definitely you know there was physical, mental, spiritual damage, yeah. mm -hmm. annihilation. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's rebuilding not only our community but rebuilding ourselves. Definitely, and that's, yeah. that's LOC. You definitely. know, what? You know I, I just thinking right now. The word came to my head. I just hate. I hate when they say we angry. I really hate that. Mm. <laughs> you I know really what? hate it. I, I'll, drop this, I, I'll, I'll, I'll drop this on you. I'll drop this on you. There's a, you know, and, and I consider myself somewhat of a spiritual man. Yes, sir. There's a scripture in, in the book of Isaiah that says, "The wise, uh, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad." Mm -hmm. Let that soak in for a minute. Yes, surely sir. oppression maketh a wise man mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can you interpret mad? You know, that's an English word. Mad means crazy. Mad means upset. Mm -hmm. So Brother James Baldwin broke it down. He said to be black in America is to be always in a rage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Especially if you're somewhat conscious. If you're somewhat conscious, yeah. and that's what the full quote. And to yeah. be somewhat conscious is to be in a rage all Definitely. the time. Tita, you, uh, brother, then uh, took your quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words being quoted. <laughs> right, exactly, right, right. And he took the quote of the month. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I, 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 I want to learn about you. Tell, me, tell us, tell the people about you. All right. Um, well, uh, my name. Well, I already gave you my name, but originally, <laughs> I'm from um, I'm from New York, born and raised. Okay. Um, born in Brooklyn, raised in the Bronx. Yes, sir. Um, uh, my, my dad from the Bronx. Oh yeah. No, shout out to my dad. Yeah, shout out to the dad. <laughs> we know. From the he realest, taught you the realest borough. You <laughs> <laughs> he from the realest borough. Hey, right. hey. But um, yeah, man. So I spent my formative years in New York City, mm -hmm. um, and um, actually as a performer, as, okay. a, as an actor, yes, uh, wow. singer, dancer. So I did some Broadway, wow. off Broadway. I was, you know, some commercials mm -hmm. and stuff. That brought me to LA um, at 18. Wow. Okay. Um, and I, you know, continued that with, you know, television, film, stuff like that. Wow. And got mm -hmm. into a lot of that. Nice. Um, transitioned into writing in mm -hmm. the early 90s um, when you had all the television shows and everything, mm -hmm. you know, with all the black shows. Yeah. I thought I can get it on the game since mm -hmm. I've been doing this since 1979. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. See if I can, you know, actually, I've read thousands of scripts to see if I can write them. Right. So I did, started writing them. Um, and I've been writing steadily, um, producing independent content. Wow. Uh, right now I have a podcast, um, and I have a, uh, I'm what's called a script doctor as well. So mm -hmm. for people who have scripts and ideas, I help you get your story right wow. and, and get it together. Um, but well, you know, we need that's to talk what to I you. do. You know, I'm a, yeah. you know, I was just about to say that. Yeah, Why man, we need word? to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm an independent, you know, right here. Yeah, right. man. I'm an independent content creator. Okay. So I'm looking to build that. I'm also an author. I wrote a book as that's well. That's dope, man. How to, you know, connections. Hey, man. man. We here making connections. Hey, yeah, that's how it happens, man. <laughs> so how did you get so into the uh, social justice um, that actually was run, running concurrently. I started actually, uh, my spiritual beliefs go back to uh, 96. Um, I received the knowledge that I was a, he a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. Okay. So prior to that, I was doing what a lot of young brothers do in their early 20s. So mm -hmm. I'm dating myself. So in like 94, I was maybe 23 um, around that time. So searching, you know, for myself, trying right. to understand things, just had a baby, just trying to figure out life so I, the first book i picked up was stolen legacy by uh, james johnson i think his name is um and started reading that the egyptology thing kind of was a little above my head so i grabbed some meat instead of some milk so um, i was shown a different way through the bible 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so I uh, ran to some brothers that I was working with who was Israelites. Um, next thing you know, I'm in class, getting taught, growing my hair, <laughs> standing on the corner, prophesying, and I oh, actually okay. grew into um, you know a certain level you know, in that organization where uh, I attained a, a level of a, of a priest in, in really? a sense, man. Wow. So, yeah, so, you know, and that's just dealing with, you know, those, you hear them guys stand on the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was I have, one of those guys at one point. But I want to, um, not to cut you off, sure, but I want to sure, ask sure. a question because I, I wonder this, what religion do the Hebrew Israelites? There is no religion. It's not a religion. It, I guess if you want to say, if it's, it has to be identified, you would say Judaism or uh, um Jewish, you know, but, religion, but it's more. Uh, but they don't follow any of the. Judaism yeah, there's there's rules the laws. Or? Yeah, there's the, the laws like today's the Sabbath. Okay. You know, and things yeah, like that. Today's so the Sabbath, today's right. the Sabbath day. Okay. So from Friday yeah. Sunday. So they do Saturday, follow. Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Certain groups and certain factions, you okay. know, are just strictly law keepers. So they only observe the Torah, which okay. is the first five books of the Bible. Okay. And you have those who are what you call Messianic, who are the entire um, Bible. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. I was so part different of that. factions There's have different, different factions. Different. Some okay. are those you see on the corner. Some actually go to a church. Okay. You know, some go outside, and some actually move back to the continent. So okay. It yeah. all depends, but the knowledge itself is is pretty much rooted in that we are the original Jews, the Israelites. You know that the Bible speaks of, and mm-hmm. the curses that are, that are listed in the Bible refer to us. Right. So, um, and so that's pr- pretty much my beginning. You know, and then just um, having a voracious. You know, you will always see me with a book in my hand or something like mm-hmm. that, man, um, reading. Um, so I built a library and it kind of expanded, you know, from that understanding you right. know, and kind of expanded that, man. So, uh, you know, stand on the streets and, and teaching was part of my work. You know okay. what I mean? And, and we did that in love because mm-hmm. we also gave out food. You know, we gave out clothing right. as well as knowledge, uh, you know, mm-hmm. on who we felt, you know, saying was the truth of, of, you know, of who we were. Right. Um, we have a question from a, a listener up there. They say, what they say? What inspires you to do what you are doing right now? Uh, that's a great question. Um, that was from know, uh, David Burns, a listener. All right, Burns, Mr. David Burns. Um, what inspired me is just uh, love. You know, being an artist, I'm pretty much open to, to spiritual things. So mm-hmm. I'm always in a fluid kind of, of, of way. And during that time, that was my way of developing a love and appreciation for my people because okay. I got to actually study how my people moved, how we really thought. Instead mm-hmm. of just living, I, I decided to take a critical thought, a critical look um, at, at us, and that was just through um, desire, you right. know, just wanting. You know, when people say there's a calling, you know, right. there, there really is. There's a desire um, to see something better, you know what I mean? A desire to um, not want to, you know, continue what, you know, when you learn your history, man, you know, just being a voracious reader and just being, you know, a lover of my people, I think is what is what really spurned that, mm-hmm. you know, for me to want to be in a position like this. And mm-hmm. who knows where I'll be five years from now. But, right. You know, to wanting to be a job creator, to wanting to be, you know, an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. that's all um, going back to school to study, you know, uh, political science and it's all wow. you know for the love of my people you know mm-hmm. and, and the growth of my family you know so that's it I, I feel I'm, I'm a cog in that wheel of justice mm. you know and, and it's trying to live that that what you call the ma'ati in life of justice mm. and balance and reciprocity um, and once you understand that man it's you know, there's really nothing else if you haven't found a cause to die for then you ain't fit to live mm. that's what MLK said right? yeah that's so, real I found something to die for. Definitely. And, and I died spiritually first before this physical death. Right. Yes, sir. That's another conversation. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're getting big right now. <laughs> um, I saw the, the the committee did something last month on the 21st over the uh, a conference call they did. Yeah, we did a, um, well, we did quite a few, man. So yeah. um, I, I think the one you're referring to was the All Men's. All Men's, and, yes. yes, yes when we had correct. all the brothers, man. And, and that was real, real timely real mm-hmm. important um right after the death of the brother george floyd mm-hmm. and then right after um dion and then right after rashad um brooks mm-hmm. um you know the heads the heads of the uh of the men of the organization we got together and said hey man we need to we need to kind of go back to that spirit of the million man march and and put the onus on the black man 
to step up. Mm-hmm. And that was the, the onus for that. So as you can see now, that spirit is really reverberating around the, around the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, where brothers are really stepping up and yeah. providing that. You know, because that's our, you know, we... You know, it's our responsibility. Yeah, yeah we gotta understand that. The sisters been doing it for too long. You know, yeah. they, it's not on them to hold it down the way they hold it down. Their mm-hmm. job is to hold us down. Yeah, right? not the movement. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I give you that. I give you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They are definitely the entry point. Three black part. women started Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's where the brothers at. Right. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and then you going off into you know the. The, the, the alphabet crew and all that stuff, mm-hmm. where the men at, right, man. you know, and that's that's what was the onus for that particular uh, conversation. So mm-hmm. we wanted to make sure that we, um, you know, stress to the brothers the, the importance of defense, mm-hmm. the importance of developing self-love. Like, we really can't do nothing if we don't fall madly in love with each other. Right. But we can't fall madly in love with each other if we don't fall mad in love with ourselves. That's real. Right. So we've been, I, I guess, to beat to death to where the point where we're just looking at ourselves in the mirror, mm-hmm. it's like we can't do it. No. So that's why we go out and commit this violence and all that because it's it's internal, right. you know, and then that's when you go into Amos Wilson and things like that where mm-hmm. you start breaking down that, you know, the violence, in, you know, within the community, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. Yes, we had to put the onus on us, man. And none of us is perfect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. I, you know, I, I'm married. You know, I've been married for 23 years. And, oh, you know, so been with mine for a minute. Mm-hmm. Raised our children. Mm-hmm. You know, we have grown children now who are going off in the world and doing their thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and what's unfortunate is that that's celebrated. Right. Yes, sir. In the 50s yes. and 60s, that was commonplace. In yeah. the 20s and 30s, that was commonplace. The right. black man was in the home. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's why you see the elders are judges and lawyers and have these great careers and entrepreneurs because their parents mm-hmm. were the ones with their backs bent over, you know what I'm saying, and picking cotton or not even that far, uh, working in someone else's right. home, right. working in them factories, mm-hmm. you know what right. I'm saying, and, and, and helping to build that life. But the man was home. Right. And so there was that nucleus, mm-hmm. you know, during the 60s and 70s mm-hmm. when, you know, the, the forces that be decided to, to break that up and now made the woman the head of the home you see where we at today yeah, yeah. so it's time to make it's time to, it's time for us to step up no matter what they do to us they mm-hmm. can't take us all out no. and we're yeah. going to raise up another nation you know of, of strong strong yeah. black men mm-hmm. who are going to not only strong responsible responsible you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. i said we're not saying perfect mm-hmm. we're saying responsible, responsible. you know mm-hmm. and that's being what be able to respond right. Right. that's what responsible means definitely yeah. the ability to respond yeah. and we have that we've done it in the past 30 years after slavery we had over 60 70 towns <laughs> and cities that we have built right yeah you know from the dirt right. i Why? was telling a, a gentleman that the other day that's one of the most prosperous times for us was right after slavery we yep. were we were hungry absolutely I mean, and people we've we've let the the system beat it out of us all the losing all the years of losing and losing and losing we've let the losing overpower us and thinking that we can't do these things ourselves absolutely and um that's that's part of the, the system absolutely. you know what i mean yeah. that that we're in and yeah. we have to fight off ourselves yeah and then it just feels too you know i know we're most it seems like too when we when we're at that level we still got to watch our backs, you know? Yeah, man. We still got to yeah. watch our backs because they, they, they don't want to see us building. You know? You and, know what I'm saying? That, that's I, the funny part about it because they tell you to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Mm-hmm. But they that's keep the snatching the damn boots off of our feet. Right. Exactly. So what are we supposed to do? You know what I mean? So um, to, for the, to that point. Um, we just got to come together to just get, uh, build together. We, and when we have no choice. When we mm-hmm. got to the, we had no choice in those days because we couldn't go anywhere. Right. right. The black codes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We couldn't own no weapons. We couldn't do anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're talking between 1870 right. and 1920. That was a tumultuous 30, mm-hmm. 40 year period. It was. Because not only were we building certain parts of the country, mm-hmm. we were also being lynched. We we're also being yeah, hung, right. but we also had uh, uh, speakers out there speaking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was a time of uh, Frederick Douglass, mm-hmm. and that was a time of um, Booker T. Washington, right, right. and so that was a very you know tumultuous time. And so within we cut our literacy rate in half Definitely. in 30 years. Yeah, we man. had 90 year old people learning how to read. Hungry yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? So right. 
we did it. So if we can do it mm -hmm. under those extreme circumstances right. mm -hmm. where within 30, 40 years, yeah. we got 19 millionaires in one right. city alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. So, of course, they don't want to see that. Definitely. So, I mean, it, it only makes sense to burn down a Durham, North Carolina, yeah. a Wilmington. Um, I, 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 I highly implore everyone to look at Wilmington on Fire. Um, which is a documentary on Quayle TV mm -hmm. um, that goes into the history of what happened in that city of Wilmington. Yeah. Wow. Um, so the history just goes on and on. No, and it's on. city, yeah. city after city, city across after the city. country right. has a story yep. of what the day when yep. the, when they came in and burned everything down that was built up from that time. We never had a decade and, uh, of rest. Right. And we never uh, had a decade. And of it rest, was right. definitely, I, I, I bet you, a, a sinking feeling for the people who built all that and and saw all that built. And I, I couldn't imagine, I can't imagine um, how they felt and, and how that affected, you know, generations to come. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, We're seeing it. And, right, We're right, seeing right. the results so, of it. So but I, yeah, me and, me and Dip, you know, we have our conversations all the time. Mm -hmm. And we agree, this is the best time to do it. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. This is the best time. Absolutely. But Absolutely. it just seems like some people ain't ready. Well, you, you know, know what? <laughs> We here at the Phoenix Local Organizing Committee. <laughs> tell them, tell them. <laughs> we are. Um, and here at the Dance of the Podcast. <laughs> we are, I'm going to tell you, we are looking for those brothers and sisters that are ready mm -hmm. to put in the work. Yep. Okay, no more talking. The time for talking is over. Definitely. If you're looking to work, come in. Um, go on our website. You can sign up on the Phoenix Local Organizing Committee website on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a real easy questionnaire you fill out. Uh, we'll get in contact with you. We'll set up a time, set orientation. But, you know, we're looking for workers. Uh, yeah. uh, we have a, a, a um, there was a brother from, I'm sorry, but I have to I have to put this out here. There was a brother by the, um, who created 14 businesses, okay, from 1920 to 1980 in mm -hmm. Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, during that 80-year period, he built 14 businesses mm. okay only supplying the needs of his own community mm. okay yeah so if one man could do that of course he became a millionaire the money right. was circulating you know in birmingham alabama mm -hmm. 19 20 30 times in that community wow so we had 20 30 tosses mm -hmm. okay so they're that's what I'm talking about. Right. And if we could do that then, in this technological age, mm -hmm. there's no reason why. But we can't do it alone. We can't leave out the diaspora. Mm -hmm. Right. And Quiet is Kept family, all of our family in the diaspora on the planet, and I'll say that, the planet, mm -hmm. is waiting on us. Yes, yeah. sir. The African American. Right. Yes, sir. We have uh, another question from a listener. It's a good question. I was going to ask myself. Yeah. Um, what was it going on? I can't, I can't yes, see. My, I got my glasses on. Uh, still can't see. Stephanie uh, Padilla asked. Appreciate you, Dad. Uh, what oh. are your thoughts on police reform? Or what uh, What are your ideas for yeah. police reform? I was going to ask you that myself. Yeah. Um, police reform. That's kind of an oxymoron, um, I, I, I would say. Mm -hmm. The only real reform is if, if they're not talking about punishment, there's no reform. Mm -hmm. If there's no object for the police department, if there's no reason for the police to not knock us over the head, and I, the only, then they're not going to stop doing it. Well, like, there has to be punishment. We, we're talking punishment, prison time, mm -hmm. and accountability. accountability right, right. Not just banning a chokehold. That doesn't do anything. That's mm -hmm. words on a paper. Right. Make them feel it in the pockets. One thing I, I want to say though, quick, real quick, like mm -hmm. bro, like if you you look at the situation, many times they they do see um, they get uh, they they get these sentences or they get uh, accusations against them, then they go to court, the grand jury, mm -hmm. and they're always found innocent. Uh -huh. I think the grand jury jury needs to be done away with. Yeah. Uh, I think that that part of the structure needs yeah. to go away because people always think the police are right mm -hmm. you know what i mean and yeah. in their mind in their mind they're going to always say the police are right well, it, i mean it's just i don't know what it is why we think this but it's 
they it's always get away with this. Right, that, right. That's right. It's a narrative that's pushed. Right. Uh-huh. And it's been pushed to us from our little kids. Oh, look, the policeman, right. he's good. He's right. a great guy. Officer friendly. Right, right. officer friendly. Mm-hmm. So it's something that we always believe in our heads that we believe that they're right. And I really, in the Minnesota situation, they took out the grand jury. And they just right. went straight to the district attorney. Right. And I think we need to put in DAs that view and take our view on the situation Mm -hmm. and we need it needs to go straight to that person Mm -hmm. and he needs to make the decision or she needs to make the decision if we go on with the case or not the grand jury aspect has to be removed because it's it's too much in too many situations it's going toward the police officer and uh, the prosecution they're always winning in these situations 90 90 percent of the time they're they're winning i mean that that whole system was set up to to it, the whole legal system is set up adversarial anyway, right, right, right? right. So the jury is just a, is kind of that middle person. Mm-hmm. Um, what we have to do is go beyond them. We have to go even beyond the DA. Who hired the DA? We, they usually the city manager. Right, right. Who hires the city manager? The people vote for the, the mayor. people in, right. And then the people vote in the mayor. Okay. All right, and the people also vote in the city manager, but he's under that line. Right. And then they hire the DAs. Right. So we have to go all the way up the line. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you, man. The DAs, they're the big problem. Yeah. If we're going to abolish anything, abolish the police unions. Yeah. They're Definitely. the biggest problem. They have a huge problem. They're, they're the biggest problem big because problem. no matter what, mm-hmm. they never back the community. Never. They always back each other. Back each other. Definitely. And that is killing us. So Definitely. what do we do? Take away their pensions mm-hmm. and give them punishment. Definitely, I mean, punishment and across that, the nation, unions are dying. But these police union is getting stronger and stronger and stronger, mm-hmm. and they get more and more money. And people mm-hmm. have to realize how much money and strength these these groups have. Right. And that's they they are pretty much keeping us hostage in our cities because they don't they don't care about change at all. It's no. not even something. No, it's do. it's not it's not on their it's not on their radar. So you know, police reform is is not really reform. If they're not talking about punishment, right. if they're not talking about how accountability, like the sister mm-hmm. said, if there is no accountability, it's going to continue. Yeah, right. you know, and we have to really now in this, in this, and I and I want to put this out there: we really have to be careful what we read, what we see, what mm-hmm. we hear, what people are telling us, and we have to be diligent in our own study and research and what we're seeing and hearing because this is a technological age, <sighs> and there's a lot going on that we don't know about. So. Oh, in, or, in order to circumvent that, we can't circumvent that because we're in a white supremacist society. Mm-hmm. So the only thing we can do is kind of circle the wagons, you know what I'm saying, and do for self. Mm-hmm. Yep. We have to let our economic power speak for us, and not that's, anything that's the main else. Thing. Yep. That's, that's the main objective. That's the yes, main sir. objective. So it's economic power, man. That's the only we, thing that speaks, man. That's it. And we can police ourselves. You know, we can we can police ourselves. Mm-hmm. People just mm-hmm. don't, you know, we don't believe it because yeah, we don't have any confidence. You yes, know. sir. So what's what's uh, the future plans of the committee and also yourself? Well, um, as far as the committee goes, um, um, the LOC, um, just to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, we're definitely looking to partner um, with other organizations, you know, of like mine. We're also looking to reach out to um, the diaspora. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're dealing, you know, we're building um, bridges and relationships with um, our brothers and sisters across the planet definitely. right now as we speak. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what it's going to take. Our mm-hmm. forefathers told, her that, told us that. Mm-hmm. Kwame and Krumah told us that in the yeah. 60s that the diaspora. You yeah, know, man. The, the, the only way this world going to change, family, is when the black man get his mind right mm-hmm. and the black family rises as right. a whole. That's it. We, you know, we could be importing, exporting. Uh, materials and products and, and vegetables yeah. mm-hmm. from the African countries. Yeah. We can make partnerships and trade partnerships yeah. with businesses from these countries to cut out the middleman in most yeah. of these places that we are not getting the fair deal and the fair shake and not getting a chance to make an economic uh, rise in these places. We can cut these people out and we can go to other places and we can learn we can from them the and we can learn how to grow things and how to build things from these people who are still building things from their hands and we can take these things from to us and our community and we can learn how to build and become better we have to bring in other cultures and 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 learn from what they're doing because if we can learn what african countries are doing 
that can put us on a pedestal Listen. in our country. Listen. Because if you want to know the uh, truth, man, the only reason they know how to grow rice here in America is because Africans taught them how to grow it. Right. You know what I'm saying we, we can take these things back and, and make sure that we make an economic uh, uprise from it and, and stop seeing other if you, people. If you, uh, Absolutely. If you, make you think money. about it, like if they may never lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. This, 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 this country, everything they learn is from other cultures. Right. It's from other cultures and mainly yeah. us. Definitely. <laughs> mainly us. Mainly us. And you're, you're talking, you know, I mean, let's be real. Um, like you said, brother, we'll just keep it rice. We'll keep it staple crops. Mm-hmm. We say rice. Right. People don't know that the largest slave plantation was not in the South. It was in Brooklyn, New York. Mm. And what were they growing? Rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the entire island of Long Island is marsh. It's wet, Mm, moist land. So it's a lot of moisture. And, and, you know, the only solid piece of New York is actually Manhattan Island. Mm -hmm. It's a solid rock. Right. All the other... And the Bronx is a peninsula, so it's just the bottom part mm-hmm. of the state of New York. Yeah. So, but that's even marshy, wet land. So they was growing rice. <laughs> I bet you a lot of people did stuff. not know that. That's yeah, facts man. on you yeah. right there. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, yeah the largest slave plantation was in know. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Yes, sir. See? So we had slavery everywhere, but you know, mm-hmm. it's just getting back to yeah. who, you know who we are, man. Definitely, you know, we, definitely. We we are the descendants of the pyramid builders. So yes, we 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 are tasked. In this day and time, as we see America fall, brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. that you know, we 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 are tasked with that, you know, heeding that call from our ancestors, man. And this is part of the call, the LOC, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are we going to organize our people to see us out of the situation? Right. Because as you, if people are not really paying attention, America's falling. If, if right. they're not paying attention, so yeah, you know, we're seeing the fall of white supremacy. We're be, we're seeing, you know what's happening around us mm-hmm. and this is the, like you said brother mm-hmm. the perfect time to perfect opportunity implement definitely. something like this and agriculture mm-hmm. is the way definitely you know, technology is the way mm-hmm. all we need is that brain power of the diaspora that the continent needs and we can build the africa that we want and, we, right. and what people don't have to we don't have to move back we don't all have to move back some of us are and it is really good that we do mm-hmm. but to those that stay Hey man, you got Belize, you got the islands, you got yeah. you know even here. You know what I'm saying? This is our land. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, I, I mean, thinking about it, like man, like Haiti, they got half of an island, mm-hmm. and they're they're one of the poorest countries in the world. Best believe that they have things to offer. Yep. It's just that no one is is taking up their offerings. That's on purpose, right? Exactly, because what they did to the French, you know, the history Absolutely. of what they what they did and everything, Absolutely. and revolting, and you know, all those things. They paid a, a huge price for it, Absolutely. which they they should remove all the mother uh, all the money that they they think that they the French say they still owe money. Mm-hmm. So they put tariffs and everything on 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 their products, and just kill them. we should be making relationships with these type countries. These are the countries we should be building things with. There's the first products that we have that they want. You know what I mean? Right. So we have to start building these to build up their country. You know what I mean? And, I and help agree. us. There's man, we have to start using our own resources, man, instead yeah. of st- instead of looking at each other like, oh man, they're poor. Absolutely. That we have to look at each other like, man, that's an opportunity. There's a whole island of people that look like me <coughs> that <coughs> may need something that I have to offer. Now yeah. let me address that. We have a Ministry of Trade and Commerce mm. in the local organizing okay. committee. Okay, right. So we could use fresh ideas and contacts right. on how to even get, you know, to people down there in Haiti. Mm-hmm. Shoot, the whole island. Right, right. to be right. honest, you right. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the Cubans, I mean, not the Cubans. The Dominicans. The Dominicans. Um, are going through the same thing. Definitely. But they have a worse colonized mind. Def- they, so that's what I'm saying. They mind yeah, stated. That's why. It's totally different. <laughs> it's totally different, brother. They right. still have that colonized mind, but they're still our people. Definitely. So we just have to put it out there. But yeah, we have a ministry that actually addresses that. Okay. And, and they're the ones that's actually, that ministry is actually very active right now mm-hmm. in building an economic base here. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the cash mobs. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's the Ministry of Trade. Okay. 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 Um, and we're also in junction and, and working in partnership with the um, Archwood Exchange. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's where you see, you know, the clothing and everything. So Man. there's there's definitely those efforts and many many more to come. Most definitely. Um, before I like this we, brother, man. I told you, the brother deep. He's the man. <laughs> um, 
I think I met you through uh, SDR, I think it was. Absolutely. That's what it was. Yep. Yes, sir. Um, first time we, we met. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, we, that was. It was that Poetic Soul. Oh, yeah. Oh, the first time we yeah, met? Yeah, yeah. The first it was time we met. Yeah. That poetic song. Um, right. Before we move on, uh, our producer, Carl, said they got in New York the, a restaurant called the Rice Fields. So, oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. Um, Absolutely. South Carolina, too. We're yeah. going to go to our, we're going to shout out our sponsors real quick, and we're going to have a game for you. All right. Are you ready for that? All right, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, but shout out, to, shout out all the social media, how to get in contact with LOC, and also in contact with you or follow you. All right. Oh, that. I didn't even go into me, but that's good. It's not no, 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 go into you real quick. But, go into uh, you real quick. Um, go ahead. Tell, us, tell, tell just, us about you. Well, just real quick, you know, I'm the owner. I'm also, uh, aside from all of my community work, um, I'm also the owner um, and CEO of Mosaic Entertainment Group. Okay. Which is a, a, a multimedia um, production company. So I write films, television, oh, yeah, um, stage plays. Mm. Uh, like I said, I'm also a script doctor okay. and an author. So, you know, COVID kind of messed up. You know, I was working Everything. on my, my pilot, you know, shooting that. And, okay. You know, things kind of halted, you know, in that aspect, but looking to get that going again. But that's pretty much what I do. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, and you can catch me at <laughs> on Facebook, um, Mosaic Entertainment Group, if you just. Type that in. Um, mm-hmm. You'll find me on that. So on Facebook, Instagram. Um, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Same name. So mm-hmm. I try to make sure I keep all the consistent. Know, everything consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, so you'll find me there. If not, you can find me under my name, Jermaine Shoulders. It's yes. not very hard. Yeah. Um, named after one of the Jacksons. So. Right. <laughs> but, um, right. Yeah. Um, so uh, with the LOC, um, you also you can find us on Facebook. Um, PHSLOC.org is our um website um and twg.org is our um youtube okay because okay, that's when uh, you can see us Dude, um, YouTube uh, oh, excuse me do, well. do the loc have two websites they do actually. okay that's all i was yeah, thinking okay. yeah we have two yeah. websites as well so but yep yes sir <coughs> That's definitely. What's your uh, your pocket? The name of your podcast? Um, oh, M E G presents. See, I That's had to I had to get you get uh, the shine on. Thank you, thank you. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> That's right. So uh, on my podcast, uh, Mosaic Entertainment Group presents. Um, I interview writers, producers, um, actors, okay, uh, anybody involved in um, filmmaking. Um, I speak to them. Um, even I'm kind of branching out now and dealing with actual artists. Okay. So in my last interview, I spoke with a woman, a sister. Um, I've known for a, a few years who actually does art and woodwork. Mm. But, um, and it's like layered. It's the most beautiful stuff you've ever wanted to see. Wow. You, you got to show us those after, after the show. Uh, she has, she's off the chain. But, that's um, dope. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'm branching out. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, it's going pretty good. Um, you can subscribe to that as well. <coughs> <That's> <laughs> subscribe right. to that as well. Yes, sir. Um, I'm also on Patreon and, you know, a number of podcast channels as well. Most so. definitely. Let's get into our sponsors real quick. <laughs> www.waywardkid.com your site for all your entertainment news sports lifestyle trends they also have the wayward kid foundation and they have editing programs to teach kids and adults how to edit their videos correctly follow them on facebook wayward kid and on ig wayward kid online you can also catch some dip lean nice little articles stop playing you know what i'm saying <laughs> From the journey, just the lane. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, good. I, I like that. yeah, there was. Uh, I, I heard this this guy named Dimling. He did an article on uh, guns uh, control, yeah, right? Man, it, was it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope, man. He got some shares on there. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did okay, man. Yeah. We also have Kiwi Juice Bar, all natural smoothies, sports nutrition supplements, fresh pressed juice, gourmet coffee and tea, protein bars, healthy snacks, and nutritional education. All righty, and we got I shine, you shine, we shine, we shall detailing, make your car shine like brand new. Ooh, and we have Butch's Wings and Things. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, Follow Kiwi Juice Bar, like their Facebook page, and follow them also on um, IG Kiwi, Ju- uh, Kiwi Juice Bar, and We Shine Car Detailing, like their Facebook page. Please. And We car, we Shine Car Detailing. Um, follow them on uh, IG as mm-hmm. well. Um, butchers wings and things come get these wings. You know what I'm saying? They got them plates. They got them plates on desk. They deliver. That you can pick up. Come and get, get them. It. You know what I'm saying? Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, follow them. Butchers wings and things on uh, like the Facebook page. Follow them on the G. That's butchers with a Z. Wings with a Z and things with a Z. We also got novels by Z. The game isn't only for boys. 
experience the game told from the other side. Nah, me. Tita, who's our top donator? Top donator. Ms. Joanne Muhammad, our top donator. Okay. A book's coming out soon, very soon. Yep. Like our Facebook page, Daniel and Tita Podcast. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Daniel and Tita. Listen to Daniel and Tita Podcast on Spotify and all channels that you can listen to the podcast is on. Hey, and you know also, I mean? you want to vote for Tim C. Yes. For mayor and O.D. Harris for city council. Stop playing. Man, out there and represent, man. Make sure your voice is heard. Most definitely. And also, we have some new sponsors. We have Trinity Solutions. They're going to, you know, so we'll tell you more details about Trinity. Them, go like their Facebook page. And K.T. Gibson, he has a new single out called Low Main. Low Main. You'll see us start pushing them heavy next week. Yeah, man. And K.T. Gibson. All right. I have a question for you, sir. Are you ready? I'm ready. We might have to push that in again. Yeah, we have to yeah. do something about that. Yeah. You sure you're ready? You didn't sound confident that ready, so oh, I don't I'm know. Ready. I don't I'm know. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Uh, yeah, let's go. Cool. Okay. All right. We got a trivia game for you. All right. There's five questions. You get three out of five correct. We'll donate $50 to your charity of choice. All right. Sounds good. Let's you get go. three lifelines. The first one, you can call someone. The second, you may Google the question, in which case we'll give you 45 seconds to answer the question. Or three, you may skip a question. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Question one. How many trips to the South did Harriet Tubman make to rescue slaves? A, 26. Mm. B, 19. C, 14. Or D, 50. D, 50. Dang, hit him with that bottom one, too. That put all this one right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the correct answer is B. 19. 19. What does Kanye say? What Trust yourself. Trust yourself. What did Kanye say? Oh, oh my no. goodness. He said she, he, she didn't do anything. She didn't actually feel the same or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. She, she, she worked for other white people. Worked for other white people. Yeah, something like that. He said. Yeah. Kanye gets no spins. Yeah. All right. Y'all blew it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. The next one. Question two. Yes, ma'am. What society was Elizabeth Cady Stanton the president of? A. The United States, B, Women's Slavery Abolishment of America, C, National Women's Suffrage Association, or D, none of the above. Ooh. Can I get a Ooh. lifeline on that? <laughs> yes, you can. Which one would you like to use? A call, Google, or skip? Uh, let's do Google. Google. All Sorry. right. 25 seconds. What is it? What's her name? What? Elizabeth what? Elizabeth. What society was it Elizabeth Caddy Stanton the president of? What was C? What was C again? National Women's Suffrage Association. That sounds like it's. Yeah, that, that sounds like it's. A mm -hmm. C, final answer? It's final answer, C. We don't have to use C is line. correct. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was a pretty decent student. Question three. Yep. Which president was Abraham Lincoln? A, the 16th. B, the 15th. C, the 14th. Or D, none of the above. He was our 16th president. That is correct. What? <laughs> well, he right. was there, 16th president. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to decide what to do with us. Yeah, he had some going back and forth going on. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, question four. How many slaves did Harriet Tubman rescue? A, less than 150. B, 630. D, 500, or C, more than 300. I, mm. I totally said that fucked up. So. <laughs> no, you good. Okay. That's, that's definitely a Google. That's definitely a Google right there. Uh, uh, Google is gone. Oh, Google gone. is gone. Oh, you I used will that have already? to skip 
All right, or no, call no. someone. Okay. Uh, or text someone. Call or text. No, we're not. No, we're not. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to skip that one. All right. I'm going to skip that one. Last question. Last question. Okay. Social justice is A, respecting others' political views, B, treating everyone equally, C, respecting others' religion, or D, all of the above? I would say D, all of the above. D, all of the above. Did already do the answer? Yeah, I need the answer. Man. Yeah, man. That's a that's important. People saying that they're advocates for social justice. Mm-hmm. And if you listen to everything they said, they said we're open to all people's religions, mm-hmm. ideas, mm-hmm. and backgrounds, and it's 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 open to all. That's right. social justice. Mm-hmm. So if you're saying you're social justice and you're against these people <laughs> or you're against these people, you're not you're not for a social what justice. What kind of social justice is that? Right. What is social exactly. justice? Yeah. So someone in the it? audience just told us that uh we need to u- we need to add a use the chat option. <laughs> use the I mean, chat. Every oh, week yeah. the answers come from the board, yeah. but no one ever <laughs> thinks to use it. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't look up. We I kind of hit I kind we kind of hot hit it a little bit this time, huh? That's probably I think good. Stephanie had a question. Stephanie had a question. I don't know if Stephanie had a question. Did we, I think we answered uh, Stephanie. Y'all yeah, need to use the chat. Right. Yeah, look at all that. We're hiding it from you. We're hiding it from you. <laughs> Good. Most definitely. <laughs> all right, so I have one question for you. What charity are we donating $50 to? Mm-hmm. That would be... That would be the Phoenix Local Organizing Committee. Mm. Dot org. Yes, sir. Definitely will donate over there. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Phoenix Local Organizing Committee. It's um, inspiring, and um, I love talking to you, bro, and you're a very intelligent, very intellectual brother. I like that. Appreciate that. And um, I want to learn more about your writing and everything because me, myself, as I, I try to, I'm trying to write a script for um, a comic book slash cartoon, okay. you know what I mean? Because I, like I like to draw and, and do art and everything, and I'm trying to make it, you know, bloat pro black but oh, yeah. I want to make sure the script is 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 right when I'm done and when I'm ready so you know, I'm gonna be coming to talk to you really soon that's what I do and man. um if you tell me it suck you know what I mean I, I don't know you well, have to talk bad on you know hey, 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 if, if you're a sensitive <laughs> artist you know what I'm saying I am no, pretty I'm straightforward I'm, not, but I'm just joking <laughs> 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 I'll, say it, I'll say it in a subtle way <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he'll take it back and go be like all right scratch all that yeah i'll oh, take yeah. that definitely i'll that learn pen, like, that that's what I'm, that's what it's out. about oh, yeah. learning that's oh, yeah. what i want to do because okay. i want to be successful i don't want to be a just be an idiot <laughs> most definitely most definitely mm-hmm. let's get into some word on the street news real quick that's what's good. the word you know what i mean let's talk about it mike tyson versus Roy joy jones jr september mm-hmm. 12th who you got it's an exhibition. Who you got? <laughs> <laughs> Who you got? Oh, uh, man. Who you got, Dip? I mean, come on. Roy man. Jones, you know, he's not really a, 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 he's more of a bounce around, dance around type fighter. Right, right. Uh, Mike Tyson's a more of a north south mm-hmm. type Pressure. fighter. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if they're anything like their, their heyday, yeah. you know, I would, I would think. Mike Tyson would win, but you know, I think it's been he's 54. Dudes a little bit younger. Yeah, I think it's been about uh, since 2003. I yeah, think about 15 they said. something like yeah, that. Plus years. And I think he lost that too. So. Yeah, he, Mike Tyson lost his last fight. <laughs> <laughs> he was he getting his right, ass yeah. kicked for the at the yeah, end he lost his, his last career. Fight. But um, I think Mike Tyson's what like 50, 54. 54 and yeah. no, no, he's, I'm saying his record is like oh. 55 and six or something like that. His problem is that and he, then, uh, he lost like all his big and fights. Yeah, he did. He lost all his big fights. That's the well, only thing about Mike. He lost his big fights because of the prison bit. I know it. That messed him up, right? But, but, but they agree. said he was running, man. Lennox yeah. Lewis said he was running from him and Holyfield. I'm done with you. Who you, who you <laughs> hey, got, boss man? They <laughs> said he you, was running, bro. Who you got, Roy, Roy Jones or uh, uh, Mike Tyson? I'm going to tell you, that's going to be... Something funny to watch. Two old dudes you know, right. in the ring. And it's an exhibition. And it's an exhibition fight. Right. 
It's um, not going to be like Rocky. That's why I was posting that the other day. It's <laughs> supposed right. to be an exhibition. Yeah. <laughs> right, nah, right. Stop you know, the fight. We are talking about Mike Tyson. <laughs> right. so, yeah. I'm done. I'm done with Roy Jones. <laughs> Roy might Throw be the damn a... towel. <laughs> <laughs> Roy right. might get mad and you know, right. He might so go, uh, might go Drago on it. Go Drago on it. Ah, hit him, hit them, <laughs> hit them, hit them one twos, huh? Exhibition, exhibition. Yeah. It's gonna be a but, whole fight night, fight night. Yeah, it'll my, be about no, three rounds. T- I posted a video on my personal Facebook page today. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all seen that lady knock out that that chit. That's gonna mm-hmm. be Mike Tyson, Roy. Man, he ain't playing. <laughs> no, you know Mike Tyson don't follow no rules. That shows how how hungry America. Yeah. Is for a good heavyweight fight. I'm saying <laughs> for anything. Bring right back, now, man. Bring we'll, back we'll, boxing. We'll take Bring anything. Back. Yeah, we ought to see two black men get it in. Man, you know, we, we don't care, it. man. Um, we had a man accused of committing 64 child sex crimes. Uh, receives a, a prison sentence for uh, a deferral prison sentence following his acceptance of a plea deal from prosecutors. Mm. Um, he received a one year. Uh, the uh, prison sentence, despite being charged of the sixty-five individual counts, wow, it's including sexual abuse, rape of children. Um, so, he, what was his plea deal? I is the question. Story. He they got did, one year. No, did not. They did not specifically. I'm say saying what's inside the plea deal. Right, right. But because he, he had to either give up the ring leader of the sex operation yeah. and maybe somebody else who who raped um, four hundred girls. And, this guy is crazy though, man. But they're gonna do a uh, unsupervised probation for one year. Meaning he could spend zero time behind bars, and he has been ordered to complete a sex offender treatment in his local community. But he, if he, wow. does, but if he doesn't uh, commit any crimes to, in this whole situation, he can get that off of his record. Are you serious? And the lenience for sex crimes in America is um, ridiculous. Yeah, other so with, countries you you get you cut off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. castration. He's so done. out of the sixty four, I think <laughs> sixty three. <laughs> 63 other charges against him have been dismissed. Man. Um, wow. He was accused of raping a 14-year-old and then making an 11-year-old rape the girl. He, uh, and then he was uh, messing with a 17-year-old, uh, which he since has married since she has turned 19. Mm. So the dude is uh, a little sick in the head. And they also found the child pornography on his computer as well. Why is he and, not under and why the is not under, yeah. yeah. Why is he not under you the You know what I'm prison? saying? I'm just saying. What, what, where is this? Where is he from? I saw uh, that story. Yeah, man. I saw that story, but I didn't even, I didn't even know where he, they were. They, I don't think they're trying to put out where he's exactly where he was from. Yeah, I Because, so. cause, you know, people are going to come after him. Stop <laughs> that pulling that, that's that selective. Yeah, exactly. yeah. He's from Florida, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the selective sentencing is what, pe- yeah. what make people really hate the justice system. <clears throat> yep. That's why it's not justice. Yeah, man, man. It's not. Why do they uh, call it? Criminal justice. Exactly. Um, we have a former Nazi. That's funny because me and Tita was talking about this some Nazi stuff before this even came out. Um, former Nazi uh, construction. Uh, cons- how you say it? The camp. Construction, construction camp. Huh? Concentration camp. Concentration camp. Construction camp. camp. Who said construction? She did. No. There she go. I, I, look, I'm trying to figure out the word you they was, they was learning how to build stuff. Huh? Right, right. <laughs> I messed up too, so it don't matter. Um, a guard convicted for 5,000. 230 murders. He's 93 now. I'm sure. Like, what are you, 100? <laughs> He's 93 Jeez. now. Um, So he got, they discovered him to be a former Nazi mm. guard. Where he been hiding in Argentina or something? They, he's out here. I thought he was out here. He was in America? Yeah, chilling. What? So, um. A lot of them went to South America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them went to, a lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. Dip, see, don't talk about Dip. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that, man. No. Um. So he, they, he's, he's being uh, convicted of these crimes. That's crazy. So he's going to jail. It was uh, from 1944 to 1945 mm. is when he served as a guard. So only one year. I don't get that. One year he was man. a guard and all those. They murders. was often people, man. Yep. They so, was man, right. dude. They was man. Yeah. So they gonna lock him up. He about to get locked up. And we have a woman accused of shooting her boyfriend for refusing. I just want to look at Tita real quick. Woman accused of shooting her boyfriend for refusing. Just want to look at Tita real quick. <laughs> to argue with her. Wow. He refused to argue with her, so she shot her boyfriend. Wow. She was being charged with wow. attempted second degree murder. Wow. Just want to look at Tita real quick. Real quick. Pay me wow. attention. That's all that was. That's all that is. <laughs> must, he must be playing 2K or something. Yeah. Right. Refused to argue with nah, her. He couldn't have been playing Get 2K. Shot. He had to be playing Fortnite. And it was Fortnite because he had a child. Oh, I don't know. They was married, so. No, oh, they were just boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. 
Mm-mm. That was Shoot. 2K, That's man. No, no. <laughs> when you've been together for a little longer than that, you know? What you think about that, boss, man? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Well, I mean, shoot. You, <laughs> you don't even know what to say about no, that. No, no, it's, it's strange because that's that's strange. But um, hey, if you can't, hey, you just gotta accept people for who they are, man. The man <laughs> don't want to argue with you. Don't argue. You know right. What I'm but you you have to engage in some way or the other. Right. Or she's gonna lose it. You guys right. don't understand so. though. He has. Are, are, you, are, are you finding an excuse for her or what? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not even talking about her. He has one of the most beautiful wife mm-hmm. I have ever seen. Like when we when we met them the the second time, mm-hmm. their energy was amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. We got there and they were talking about you know live you know you know they've been ma- ma- married for tw- twenty three years. Mm-hmm. And they were just yeah, I remember like, that day. They, they were giving us a little talk you know you know how Ooh. to how how do you do it yeah I remember like, that. you know c- communication and loving were each other. Were you listening? Were you and taking man, notes? I was actually taking notes. I was like okay. man. <laughs> I no, couple. she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you was listening, but you wasn't taking no notes. That she wasn't taking no notes. That note. day, I was very upset with she Daniel. She an Aquarius. Give it up. That day, yeah. I was very upset with Daniel when when he he started talking to us, mm-hmm. and she's like, "It's all about, it's all." You about, know what? You know, she the guy that said to me that day. I remember that day. Mm-hmm. Because you was taking too long to get ready. Uh, let's go to Sister Social. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nine social sisters. Uh, thank uh, you very much for that. Um, thank you very social. much. <laughs> You're welcome. She, um, you know, we, it, it's it's definitely, you know. Uh, we just anti-social sisters. Uh, it's, it's work. <laughs> it's work. But yeah. it's, um, it's, it's worth it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, and you definitely have um, times where, and what you guys were witnessing is, is a part in your relationship when you become one. Mm-hmm. When you, it's a full realization of oneness. Yeah, yeah. that's when you see the shine. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because we 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 operate separately because we're separate humans. But when we're, you know, in that mode, it's only one. You know, you see yeah. me, you see her, you see her, you see me, mm-hmm. and, that, and that's what that's how it's supposed to be. You know, yeah, that's, man, that's how it's supposed to happen. The, the importance of the family needs to be in, re-injected into the, the black community. Absolutely. Uh, the building of the foundation of the man and the woman is, is, is number one and number two. And uh, that needs to be re-added into our way of thinking because uh, too many think that, hey, we can have a family without, you can have a family just me. Mm-hmm. As a mother, I'm strong. I understand strength. But it's not just about you. This is about community building. Absolutely. And we need to stop being so selfish about me, me, I, 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 and start thinking about the we. And it's not about you. Absolutely. And as a uh, people, building the family first is the first step mm-hmm. into us becoming more strong. Absolutely. So uh, we got to fall back in love with ourselves, man. That's real. We got to realize that, you know, family is everything. Family is everything. And if, if without that, you know, and, and, and I, you know, it, we have to get out out of the idea that it has to be perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, just because a marriage is long lasting doesn't mean it's not you know going to be perfect. No, if you don't come out with scars, nobody was being honest. It's you know real. What I'm saying? You wasn't really mm-hmm. living. You know, it's what not I mean? going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's not supposed to. Mm-mm. You know, marriage marriage is not for is to grow you. That's mm-hmm. what it's for. Yeah, especially as a man. Right. It's it's really. It's, it's beneficial for the woman mm-hmm. as far as covering and protection and, you know, um, being taken care of. But it's good for the man yeah. because it grows you yep. as a man. Definitely. You, it grows you. So we're the, that's, why, that's where the term husband comes from. Mm-hmm. Husbandry. That's the word. You know, and a husband, men, a husband, men, is one who goes out and tends a garden. Right. So if we look at our family and our wives, you know, and women in general as our gardens, we plant those seeds, man. Yeah, man. You never then know you have to tend to that. We have to tend to right. the seeds. So mm-hmm. what happens? You get the little pruning knife. You get yeah. the little. Why? Because the 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 flower may be getting blown one way, or the seeds didn't land right. So you may have to bring them back together, and then mm-hmm. that's when you have. And then it's the growth process. Mm-hmm. That's where you have the most what they call consider problems. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the growth process. Right. Somebody's growing, and you have to give the other person. You have to be in a space where you can provide the space for the other person to grow. Right. And it's not that easy. It's not easy. You have to even grow to understand that. That's real. And that's where, you know, people cut out Mm -hmm. because when it it gets painful, you can't stand looking at the person and you can't, you get to that point often, 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, and so people have to, you know, they, there is no secret. There's just a decision is made that this is the person I'm going to be with. Right. And that's that. Yeah, so that's right. how are you going to, what, so now that we be on that, you know, how are we going to grow and what are we going to do, you know, for right. each other and for our family? So that's that's how you look at it. Definitely. Definitely. I 100% agree. Yes, sir. Sister Social, y'all ready? I'm ready. All right. So first, we want to start with, um, what's her name? J- Jessomia? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I forgot her name. What's, what's, the, brand? what's the brand name, though? The brand name is That Flame. That Flame. It is a seasoning brand. It's okay. It's a cute Let me little see. jar. It's called that flame. That yes. flame. Let me see if I can get it. It is nut free. Definitely won't need nuts in it. It's a little spicy. There's a lot of spices that have nuts in it, so it's very it's good. Called to that flame. That. Yes, yes, it's called that flame. Okay. That's flame, huh? Mm-hmm. And this is for what steaks, chicken. Um, it's pretty much an all-around seasoning. All season. Um, it looks like you can use it for vegan foods, vegetables, okay. meats. Um, okay. I like the jar. The jar's pretty cool. A, they, it has a Open little bit, of, just a little bit of sugar in it, just okay. to give it that sweetness. Okay. But it has, in this particular jar, mm-hmm. we have um, red pepper flakes. Looks like some Lowry seasoning. Show it up a little bit more. Flip it. Okay. We got what else we got in we here? Too some, some cream. salt. Could be some maybe some cilantro or maybe some parsley. Parsley. Basil. Something basil. Cream. Yep. Looks like something cool. Maybe a little bit of oregano or something. And that's a local uh, company out in Phoenix, Arizona. Dope. They are located on mm-hmm. 30th Avenue and Thunderbird. Wow. Oh, okay. Not too far. I know exactly where it's yeah, at. Yeah, that's right down the street. I don't think that's where they're located, but it's all good. Um, <laughs> no. Let me no. see. 24th Avenue in Northern. So it's right down the street here. I don't so think that's the street either, but we good. <laughs> no, that's what it says in here. No, that's not. I don't think so. But let's open it up, though. Y'all giving the wrong direction. Let's open it up. I don't think it's in the... The address is in that group chat. Oh. But let's open this up and see how it tastes. Taste? Most careful with, with the flame. Definitely. Ooh, sure. I almost got burned by that flame. Take uh, smell it. Let this smell it first. Come on. I'm hold it. We need this. I don't can know. You, can you hold this, please? Search, search, search. Y'all crazy. Y'all both short. I have short hands. <laughs> Where's that little, you got like a little spoon for you can taste it real quick. Spoon? I'm not to eating that. I'm going to taste that real quick. I want to see how it tastes. You tripping, dog. Like it's hot. You just going to take it, just eat it straight raw. Thank you. Thank you. Tita is a terrible advertiser. I am. So a company sent this to us. It's called That Flame. Okay. And they wanted us to, to you know, check it out. Oh, okay. They're not a sponsor, they didn't about, but they sent us product to try on, on the air. Oh, okay. That flame, so, handcrafted. I don't know why. You just couldn't explain that to the people. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get the information. <laughs> um, you would have did actually say it was an all purpose season. Yeah, all, so. it's called that flame. Okay. Uh, you can put it on your, your seafood, your vegetables, all right. your meat. So, and they wanted to try it out, huh? They wanted to just, you know, you know, taste that. So I don't want too much because, you know, sometimes season is strong. Yeah, man. You, that's, what I was, that's what I was saying. Mm. It's like a seasoning salt. It's like a seasoning salt, but you know what it has? A little fire to it. That fire, that flame. Mm-hmm. I can see why they call it that flame. Yeah, man. So this is a handcraft all-purpose of seasoning. Let me taste okay. it. I don't want to use your Yeah, spot. it does have a, like a, if I had to say something familiar, it has like a a sea salt type of. Uh, yeah. You no, know? nah, this is dope. Yeah. No, nah, man. We gotta so you can put it on your meats. So y'all. And I'm going to try that. That's pretty good. No, nah, we're taking this. <laughs> we're gonna try that. Yeah, man. Try it on your and your fish, your uh your vegetables. Yeah, this and is all gonna that. be really good, babe. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Trying on my seasoned yeah, chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got split that. That is pretty a, damn good. We already nah, have that's a meal really good. Plan. And it has like a, that that heat is like a yeah. It ups the heat a little bit. That's definitely. nice, man. So I told, I told you, and I like the jar that it comes in. Yeah, the jar's fire. Yeah, man. Little marinade, man. You marinate the chicken in that, man. Or some beef, man. Yeah. Some seafood. So, yeah, so Yo, check them out. Y'all want to grill after this? Oh, we might have to. We might, might have to. Hook it up, you know what I mean? I'm but check really them out, really out that we flame. We plan a, a good date. Um, like Do you have said, a website? Yeah, what's the website? It should be on there, uh, to, to the top of that group chat. It is 
BetFlameCulinary.com. Betflame. So I think they had different seasonings as well. I seen um I seen on her Facebook page she's blending up a new flavor as well. Okay. So check them out, man. Man, pepper. check them out, man. She's doing a lemon pepper. That's one. what you do with the fish, man. I like the of, fish more. With a that. lot of our audience is based out in, in Phoenix, Arizona. So mm-hmm. now you don't have to go to a grocery store to support somebody you don't know. Yeah, somebody yeah. support somebody you do know that's in your local man. area and is black business. Buy as well. local, man. Holla at you, Flame. And I'm not talking rap records and rap yeah, yeah. albums. <laughs> Buy local produce. Yeah. Buy from local farmers. And you know what it is because she's actually showing you there ain't nothing added crazy in mm-hmm. there. No, man, that's dope, man. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Some social? All right. So we're we also have facts. 10 things or activities that you can do to get rid of anxiety. Oh, because okay. Because right now, everybody's in the house, cooped up, anxieties. Flare up. Reading too much stuff online and Facebook, making them crazy. Mm-hmm. All of that. Mm-hmm. So it just gives us a couple things that we can do to kind of alleviate that anxiety, that stress. Smoke weed. <laughs> For that's, those who that's not smoke. one in there? Oh, my bad. I was trying to guess. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, it might be one that we could get added to the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sip my drink. That flame, that flame was getting to me. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you were feeling. Yeah. Bad, <laughs> oh, you talking about? Oh, you talking about that flame? I thought you were talking about. Something. Oh no! no there you, you go. Talking about <laughs> that flame with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's that flame, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, on a piece of paper, what you can do is write down a list of all your skills. What are you good at? What What do you like to do more? I okay. Guess. So it's kind of like a self affirmation. You're good at this. You're good at that. Yeah, you that's kind of make yourself sometimes. feel good about yourself yeah. a little bit. Sometimes writing things down make them come true. That's that true. Vision board. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like, what do I see myself doing mm-hmm. in six months to a year, five years from now? What are my goals? Type thing. What skills would you like to obtain? Right. R- write some of those down. New hobbies that you might want to start. And make realistic skills. Don't I want to be a pop star, rap star? I need to be grounded, man. I'm sick of that shit. That is Sorry. True. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, more of us can learn how to sew. Nah, I'm, yeah, for real, man. I'm for real. I'm like, dude, we need skills. Next person tell me they want to be a rapper for real. I'm just, I'm yeah, shooting it down, man. Rappers, I'm just, shooting I just it down. I recorded a song last uh, night. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. you the man, man. But, you know, but you know what I mean, man. I'm talking about young kids. Yeah. 17, 16, 15, you know what I mean? If you don't have anything going already, yeah. Nah, get a skill, man. That's Definitely gonna that's gonna a, hold you down to life. You, yeah. That's real. Alright, what's on the what's on this on the list? Yoga. Yes, true facts. Stretching, yoga, Pilates, mm-hmm. exercising. Yeah. Take a walk. But what, what was that dude doing early on Cheetahs with yoga? He was well, having sex with his yoga director. He was director. doing the yoga teacher. He was <laughs> doing yoga. Still- you was doing, you did yoga um, yesterday morning. Zumba is a good one. Remember your legs? Throw that in there. Your that legs. was the, that was in, okay. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. When I got home from work. It was meditation stretch. Y'all nasty, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Everything, y'all try to turn everything freaky on here. I, I didn't say nothing. I said she was doing yoga. Something energy-wise, you want to be nasty. Poor <laughs> <laughs> <called> Gino. <laughs> Moving on, Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it threw me off. Hold on, she got Set a daily routine. I agree mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You Facts. always want to have something that you, you get up and that you're doing every yeah. day. Even if you get up, take a shower, brush your teeth, yep. eat breakfast, yep. or mm-hmm. make your bed every day. I've you been know? doing that. I've been That's doing a that. number one for a, a successful day. person. Oh, they make they here. make their oh, bed every day. I, I agree. Tiddy going to sit here and lie. There are many things you could do. Yeah, yeah I mean, man. Um, I, there's a book I'm reading right now called I Am. Mm-hmm. It's, about, it's, it's about self-declaration. And yeah. It's about you know going to within to declare who you are and right. who you want to be. Mm-hmm. So I am, you know what I'm saying? So that, that, you know, so that, I, that's a process for me. You right. know what I mean? Also, um, organization is a process for me. So I'm constantly reorganizing things and I make my bed every day. Right. I do certain things. I get up at a certain time and, and I'll do these little things, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's just reading or if I'm meditating or 
I write a poem or a uh, journal, mm-hmm. something that gets me. But we have to do something. I, right. That's actually that's pretty um, important. You Definitely. Know, yeah. you know, and I didn't want to just let it slide by without saying something yeah. that's actually very important. And that's something we should, as a people collectively, mm-hmm. and just as a person, you know, take the time to constantly look to grow yeah. and, and constantly unfold and, and, and find things that are you, and I agree with you, um, practical mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what I did was said, I can do all of these things. You know, I can go to law school. I can, you know, do this and do that. But how is that going to, is that really me? Though? Right. Is right, it coming right. from what I am? Right. Though? I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. I'm right. Um, I come from my soul. Right. So everything I do has to come from that. Definitely. And that's, I'll monetize that mm-hmm. and, and, you know, bring that in you know, to the fold. But there's a constant enfolding. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that that's very time. Well, I know we've been, uh, we've been meditating uh, lately too. Every wow, day, that's so. dope, man. So, you know. Hey, Christ. I'm meditating. meditating yeah. And we've been meditating and manifesting. Yeah. That's what yeah. we've been doing. That's right. That's what it do, man. Even if you just take, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and mm-hmm. even if your meditation is you working on your craft or yes. your hobby or Absolutely. whatever you love to do in your spare time. Just not eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I like we, to eat a little shit. <laughs> I'm just I, saying. But I, I love meditating because it's, it, it, it does something to my thoughts, but sometimes mm-hmm. things just pop up while you're meditating. You're yeah, like, you got to clear your head. Oh, what's that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, even, so. with that, even with eating, you know, there's a discipline to that. Yeah. Right. So even yeah, man. You, you do have a, you like to eat. Okay. But just discipline that time frame when you do it. So don't mm-hmm. eat at one in the morning. Right. Eat, you know, at a, you know, yeah. at a certain time. Yeah. And if you like to eat, you know what I'm saying? So I had to discipline myself because mm-hmm. I like to eat too much. So yep. yeah. I actually put myself on it and my wife, we did it together. That's probably another reason, you know, what you guys see is because we t- uh, collectively lost 80 pounds together. Wow, mm. wow. And you know, so, you know, we went through that process. Yeah, you man. Know, together but individually. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So our walks and how we did it was different. We just made up our minds to do it. Right. So that's, just, that's what it's about. That's yep. it. They're on their journey, too, and, we, you know, we're behind Absolutely. them. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And yeah, we did, um, what did we do? 30 day, we did 30 day vegan last month. Mm-hmm. Um, Good I stuff. think we're gonna, you know, this month we we're not doing it, but uh, starting August first, we're gonna do something. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Big secret: we're water. Drink tons and tons. Oh yeah, tons definitely. Tons I've been drinking drink lots of water. water. That's gonna that's happen. my new favorite drink. Appetite suppressant. Nothing yeah. else but water. No yeah. soda. Yep. No nothing. Water. Water. Just water. drink water. Don't drink none of that stuff, man. Yep. Yep. All that's right. Lady. What else we got? So we wanted to talk about our one of our sponsors. Okay. Which is the game is not only for boys. Stop playing. And I was gonna tell you. Get on the mic. Mic. That we um. So get on the mic. We started reading about get, and get stuff. Get your mouth on the mic. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> so um, Zion, she's a very um, she doesn't like co- co- commitment. Oh, she don't like commitment. She don't like commitment. Yeah, what? She has, you know, she has it out. I mean, really, does she really need it? Does she really need commitment? <laughs> does she really have to do Michael the way she did him? I feel like she oh. she shouldn't have been so upset with him. Mm. But then he didn't say no, nothing either. Not yet. And, like, she says that he's not really a, they're not really a couple. Mm. They're not really a thing. So where you're adding them, but they're not a couple yet? No, they're not. No, they're, not they're really they're not really, a couple. Mm. That's like her Wednesday. <laughs> that's like her Wednesday. She has all these guys. So she's a hot girl. Uh, well, she's we're making a hot girl summer. <laughs> hot girl ain't the word for it. Let me I tell you. Say hot. She got there was Reggie. There was Thomas. What? Thomas. Thomas. All oh, these brothers. You messing with a dude named Reggie? You definitely hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie. Reggie. Mike, Noah. Dang. Noah, but Noah, Noah's new, so he don't really And count. Noah. There was the Jamaican dude from the from the bar. Mm-hmm. Wow. What chapter is this on? Two. <laughs> so chapter two. Chapter two. Yeah. God. Mm-hmm. Chapter two, she started her day texting all the dudes that she, she my cuddle buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cuddle and buddy. then she has to watch who she, she, she takes she us ha- back. Yeah, she has to really be like, oh, okay. She can't okay. be waiting. She, got, she have that many, huh? She yeah. has a few. She out here pimping. And uh, mm. I read like 20 different names and how she texts them and how she talked to them. That's terrible. Then she got the one text from uh from your boy Noah. Mm-hmm. Noah. He look, he, it looks like he looks good. Hey, baby, I had fun last night. Oh. Mm. Say, wow. That, that's, 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 that's um, What does she do for good. occupation again? She's a psychiatrist. Z is a psychiatrist. <laughs> wow. She don't know how to play games. That's what she's doing. She's yeah. playing Z games with all these dudes. Cars, 
One customized Camaro. And this is, the game isn't only football. Yeah, she's playing games with her head. So she this is the game that they playing. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> she don't have a Monday through Friday or a Sunday to Sunday. Oh, is that right? Tuesday. She got a day one to day thirty one. Mm. Oh, okay. It's not the same guy every day. Okay. So she keeps she keeps up with every single guy. She, she has to make sure she texts them all every day. Every How does she do her job that's and do this? She, right, that's what I was just going to well, say. Selena's her assistant. How does she keep so her she, job? Her best friend is her assistant. Mm-hmm. Oh, so her she job. keeps it all straightforward. This is, this uh, today is Tuesday. It's Noah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. But it's, it, it's getting good because um, Darius, which is an old boyfriend that she almost got engaged to, he finna shoot or up together. Some shit. The one that's about to, she had to go to the family barbecue. Mm-hmm. Darius is always the killer. Let's talk about that, because that's going to be the end of it. And Darius got a son named Darian. Or Darian. <laughs> D- Dorian. D- D- Darian. But um, she, went, mama crazy. she went with him. And, you know, they had a good bar- 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 barbecue. The okay. family loves her. Like, they love her. Um, they ended up, you know, every- everybody started leaving. And it was his house. So, you know, they stayed. You know, he tried to, you know, you know cuddle with her and stuff. So mm-hmm. she's like, it's been a minute. She went up, you know, she went to his room. They had their little thing. And later, you hear honking and honking and honking. His baby mama's honking like at 3 in the morning, Mm-mm. honking at her. So Dion, so she starts saying, oh, you, you, you big girl, blah, blah, blah. So Dion gets mad, grabs the bat from Darius's room, oh my God. runs down, messes her car up. The and baby mama between drunk. Latrice and um, so Darius, no, so, 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 Celine wasn't there. She she did she wasn't able because she she had to work on a Saturday mm. while these girls party. Okay. Uh-huh. She messed up her car. She messed up um, all the drama. Chanel. I just I want her to give uh, both of you just a little drama. advice. Yes. Do not take any of this book into the real world. Do not. We don't want to hear none. We don't of want this. no no problems. We don't right. No, no, no <laughs> we don't need any guys. No yeah. yeah. It's, it's good we're talking about it and to discuss how crazy the, the it's game a good book, is. Though. It's good, good. I it's see. Good, it's really good book. Don't it's play no see, games. But don't play, right. This is probably our <laughs> It says the ever. game isn't only for boys. Yes. I mean, we mm-hmm. part of the game, too. These yeah. boys and turn to men. Yeah, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was All right, right. Well, we're, we're, what we're what we're just get, just get, uh, what the, tripped them up? The lean perspective. When Mike and Noah and Bentley. Yeah, when they heard more than one guy, they were like, ah. Yeah, man. When they all found out that your girl was a detective. Mm. A detective from the yeah. psychiatrist, huh? Yeah, they, play they, they play playing all the games. Bitch, yeah. you fuzzy, you sitting here smoking blunts with us? No. <laughs> yeah. The detective, psychiatrist, and the best friend, which is um, the only set secretary, they all smoke and drink. Heavy. Mm. Wow. But they're young, too, so. Well, that's normal people, uh, man. That's, we all do. They bought their bills. So they got detectives and psychologists and all that. But we won't tell you no more. Mm. Mm. Next till next week. Next week. That's dope. Dope right, review. The game is for the boys. What the is it called is again? Only isn't only. I always yeah. mess that up. My bad, man. The game isn't <laughs> See, only for boys. Okay. All right. The lean perspective, yeah? Yo? Yes, sir. All right. We got um, the Democratic uh, Party uh, building in Phoenix was uh, burned. Uh, they are The Phoenix officials are uh, labeling it as arson. Um, it damaged the headquarters and and uh, the department said the, the fire broke out about 1 a.m. on July 24th near Central and Thomas. I know exactly where that's at. When uh, firefighters arrived at the scene, they found heavy smoke inside the building and determined no one was inside. And the firefighters were quickly able to extinguish the fire. But it does look like it was uh, someone set the fire. Um, yep. You know, people have been tearing up signs and doing a lot of things. And we've seen a couple of video O.D. Harris had of him. Yeah. That's and, crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah I've seen it. He be uh, going live on there. Sean. Disrespecting the process, man. Mm-hmm. We have a uh, Virginia school board votes to change the name of a high school from uh, Robert E. Lee to uh, John Lewis, John which Lewis? is which is uh, pretty pretty dope. Yeah. Um, nothing needs to be named after Robert Lee. That's in VA, right? Yeah, that's in Virginia. Yeah. Um, so that that was cool. The board voted to uh, to get that re- his name removed. Um, in Florida, Walmart, a man was arrested for pulling a gun in an argument over a mask. Uh, the guy got into it with um, another gentleman, uh, an unmasked man. He pulled a gun on a masked shopper 
and threatened to kill him during a, a confrontation over the face cover in Wal- Florida Walmart. Uh, according to Palm Beach County mm-hmm. Sheriff, the stories, the store's uh, security video shows Vincent Scavato pushing an older man in a wheelchair through the Palm Beach store and then getting into it with another person <laughs> well, over a mask. Over a mask, man. That's getting really, it's it's you know, all online and stuff. It's getting really stupid. Yeah, it is getting pretty dumb. It's a rule. Follow it. It is. Two arrested after missing ASU professor uh, remains were located in surprise. <laughs> yeah, man. So I don't know what's going on with too much about this, but uh, the Maricona sh- Maricopa sh- Sheriff Office located the remains of missing Arizona professor Junsik Che. I, I don't want to know. I might be destroying his name. They found the remains on the 17th after an extensive search of a landfill because they knew his body was dumped in the, in the trash can. On a certain day. Wow. So they, they have the two people uh, arrested. Um, 18-year-old Javian Ezel and 18-year-old Gabriel Austin as a brother. Mm-hmm. And, a little, and a little chick, man. I don't know. They Officers say a car belonged to Che and the three gave statements that led officers to believe that Che was the victim of a homicide. Mm-hmm. So uh, more will come out on the story, but we don't know for sure what's going on. But they, they have these two picked up already as the people who uh, murdered this man. And they're Sad. young, man. 18 years old, yeah, man. It's young. ridiculous, man. Uh, we have COVID-19 va- vaccines trials underway in the Valley. Uh, yep. So people are coming in to try to get to uh, to, uh, to uh, help out with the, the trials of the vaccine. Um, yeah. they're, they're looking for a lot of people to come in, and um, they are already getting a lot. So uh, I heard they're doing some tests on the south side of uh, It's not really saying for sure yeah. uh, where it's from. Um, but I do see that uh, they, they are. It's a, it's a good. They're doing I'm the good. trials. I'm so good. No trials. We ain't doing mm. This is not Tuskegee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing, man. Uh, we we do not trust doctors, nah, man. Not, <laughs> nah. <laughs> but that's something that, um, unfortunately, you know. Yeah. That's we good. don't. We, I, it's, it's a hard situation. Yeah. But um. Yeah, kick my dough in. <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't done. The NBA. Uh, it's coming back. I think the first games will be the 30th. Yeah, they've uh, been running next, scrimmages, right? Yeah, we're seeing some. I'm watching some games. Some, it's kind of weird. That fake foul from LeBron. He's always doing some fake. Ain't nobody fight. touching him. Go ahead. <laughs> but uh, he's, uh, it looks kind of weird watching the games with no fans. Yeah. You know, it's been kind of weird. You know, they do have the uh, Black Lives Matter exactly. um, in the middle of the floor, which yeah. is, you know, uh, playing homage to yeah. the, the, the movement. I was um, watching some baseball the other day, too. Yeah, and they... They did the kneeling with the with the black thing. I don't know what the black thing was, <laughs> but that was that was you know. But people you, are trying, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, in situations, you know, um, everybody sometimes have to do things that makes them yeah. uncomfortable, and sometimes we have to look over things that you may say, "Oh, that's that." We don't. But they don't control that. Yeah. They don't control laws. The only thing they can do is control what they can control. So we all can. You know, say we want laws changed, but we have to vote and put in people in the mm-hmm. position to make those changes. We can't yell at uh, Miss Butterworth because they want to change the way they have uh, the person who was who was their mascot and say that's not what we asked for. They don't really control laws; they control their syrup. So if they want to remove the person because they know it's been wrong for a hundred years, we can't. We a a good thing shouldn't be looked down upon. We should say, hey, that's that's good that they finally removed that. You know what I mean? I know it's been a long time, but yeah. it's a move in the right way, and every move in the right way, in the right direction, should be honored. Or, you know, well, I would I would, I would say this too. Um, <clears throat> in light of that, if nothing happens after that, what's the point? <laughs> well, okay, so yeah, and I'm saying that because I'm saying that because. We have to be very, 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 very careful as a people that we don't latch on to symbolism. Mm. Okay? No, we didn't ask for Black Lives Matter to be painted, you know, in the middle of the street. I don't even subscribe to Black Lives Matter, so what? How is that benefiting me? Right. How is, you know, the, the Democratic Party dressing up in kente cloth and, you know, kneeling? What is that doing for me? Mm hmm. Unless the fundamental the relationship mm-hmm. changes between us and the establishment, everything else is just symbolism. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you if we not 
the bottom line is if we don't have land or money everything else is just no that's real. symbolism that's all okay, it's about so that's it that's a lot of people it, think symbolism it. is important when you see you know a lot it's, of people it think has it's, its place it, it has its place just you know symbolism has its place mm-hmm. but when it becomes all that you all that right word, right that's it you right. know what i'm saying so and in, in respect for the young the, the, the brother that passed recently the civil rights we have to we not in that no more okay right, right. I don't, we don't need to hear what happened 60 years ago that doesn't matter mm-hmm. at, this, at this point in the game okay you did that work it got us to this point we see what was good about it and we see what was what i won't say was bad but where we missed the mark mm-hmm. okay so now what we're attempting to do is fill that in but what they give us is symbolism mm-hmm. instead of saying here's the money and here's the land so you can build your economic base like everyone else has. Mm-hmm. And if you're paying attention, they just gave half the state of Oklahoma back to the Native Americans. Yeah, I know no, that was dope. So if they honor what they If what they, they honor that right. treaty, which we know they're treaty breakers. Then, right. And then we got to watch the natives because Tulsa is right in the middle of that mm-hmm. in Oklahoma. What are they going to do there? Most of that land is theirs in it. And, and, and the Dakotas also. Where they where they have the uh, Mount Mount Rushmore, that's all their land. They weren't even supposed to build that. Exactly. So, so they symbolism, just disrespecting, and that's symbolism, and that's, symbolism. You know, and, and, and that's the importance of symbolism. You know, it's it's important also because we want those statues taken down. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we also know this, the the importance of removing symbols. Mm-hmm. So it's, absolutely, it has its place, like you said. It has its but place. Um, it's definitely a situation where we we want to. We want to take steps. It's going to be small steps, unfortunately. But we want to make sure we focus in on the people who are important that can change laws and keeping these congressmen and senators, uh, making sure they are aware of what we want. And those are the people that I'm saying we need to put pressure on and keep the pressure on because they are the ones that are the choice makers. By not allowing them to give us symbolism. Mm, Right. So if everybody wants... Uh, uh, Joe Biden in the office, mm-hmm. fine. It's not going to really make a difference. However, stay on him. Right. We no, don't no. Need right. Symbolism. Do right. we really need? I understand the optics, but do we really need a black woman as a vice president? We had a black president. What did it do for us? Mm. So is her being in that position going to advantage these sisters and other sisters out there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Does the fundamental relationship change? Right. That's the whole point. So in the 60s, in the 20s and 30s, we have more businesses than we do now. Right. That doesn't make sense. But yet we had the Democrats telling us all this stuff for mm-hmm. the last 60, 70 years, but we're worse off yeah. than we were. So the question is, and we have plenty of symbolism. Mm-hmm. We had the passing of the but, Voting but, Rights Act. We had the but we don't, of this act. Those that are act, things. This, that, 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 I, I feel you on that. helped us. I'm a... I'm, um, I'm one that gives both sides to those situations mm-hmm. because there is bad. There is a lot of bad and negative that comes out of everything, but there's also positives that has coming out of, out of our situations, out of our ghettos, out of our hoods from the bottom and made and have made it to the top. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of, um, I guess I'm a kind of a positive person. I try to be more positive than negative and, and looking at things Not because sure. <laughs> it's just this just the way That's I am. True. I just instead of looking at things so negatively and and being focused on what the things that we haven't been able to do, I try to focus on the things that we know we have the power to do. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I, I know it's, it's some people yeah. get mad at me because I, I don't I'm always about empowerment. Cuz when you talk bad about what you're doing and what we're doing, it that's why it isn't going to go anywhere. Right. When you start thinking that you can't go anywhere, that's when you can't go anywhere. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And right. that my mind state is the first thing that we need to change, that we can't. We can't. No, we can't. Just like you say in your book, I am. You just start saying it's the same way of saying I can. Mm-hmm. And I think that we need to build that into our vernacular because for some reason it's not. It's, it's always a situation of – that's why I hate conspiracy theories. Mm-hmm. Because like I was saying earlier, because it builds that mind state of I can't do it. I, I don't, oh, they're going to not let us. I'm not part of that group. I'm not part of this. That doesn't make me feel as though you're going to get anything done when you're saying that I can't do it because 
I'm not this or I'm not that. That's just not the way we're going to be able to get things done. Absolutely. We can be anything we want to. We can be CEOs. We can own companies. We can run companies. We can be billionaires. Mm -hmm. We can do all that. And that's that's my, my main mission in life is just letting people know what you can do instead of talking about what we can't. And I know it's great to know the things that we weren't be able to do, mm -hmm. but all those losses is what should catapult us into that mentality of we can't. And once that, that mentality comes, I think that that's going to be the thing that changes. Absolutely. Most that's, that's why I balance it out, by showing you what we have done. Right. And, right. and where right. we have been. You know what and I'm it's saying? A, it's and a what definitely we can a, do. You know a balance that There's has to be. a balance because you have to know you have to know the negative in order to know the positive. You right. have to understand both sides. So mm -hmm. it may come off in a negative tinge or as a negative kind of, but it's it's not. It's more so saying this is what it is. So, and it depends on the person too, how right, it's right, how it's interpreted. Right. How it you know what I'm saying? Right, and, correct. And the self esteem, mm -hmm. and that's something as a people that we're missing. That's Definitely. why we tell ourselves we can't. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's why some of us fall into that victim mm -hmm. role because they say, ah, we can't. Yeah, you know, we can't. The white man, the white right, man. No, exactly. we can't do. We can't always to complain. The complaining has to stop. Yep. And we can't always blame right. the white man. Yep. We, we just can't do it. We mm -hmm. we we are our own people. Yep. We've done it with chains on our legs. Yep. And we can do it again. Most and definitely. The LOC is here to say, hey, look, we have the organizational structure mm -hmm. to help us accomplish that outside of waving a sign, right. outside of, you know, complaining. Because mm -hmm. complaining doesn't get you anywhere. No, it doesn't. Complain, you get lack of respect when you it, complain. It sure does. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So stop complaining. Yep. Now we have a solution. So if you want to stop complaining, there's a sign up right here and mm -hmm. we can make it happen. That's real. Let's fall. Let's see where you fall in, how you mm -hmm. can contribute. Right. You know, instead of complaining, what can you do? Right. What can you do right. to make Definitely. it better? That's real. And then come on in. Mm -hmm. And this ain't going to cost you nothing. This is your time. Right. And, and what you say you're going to do, and then you'll be held responsible to For do real. it. You Facts, feel me? Right. And that's it. That's, that's it. Yeah, build a coalition, build a nation, and we mm -hmm. got it. We don't need to worry about anybody else. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end off the lean perspective. I want to talk about um, Ben Simmons. He out here taking more threes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Since they put him at the power forward. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he's, he gonna, and Ben is going to be the next man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on Ben. He's going to be better than LeBron, dog. Ben Simmons. Oh, yeah, man. Goodness, man. Ben Simmons will be better. I said it first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're we, the we, only one. So. That was, that was, that was that it? Or you going to go? You're going to live on that Oh, one, man. I'm that's telling that's you, man. That's <laughs> hey, hold on, man. Yeah. Yeah. His perspective. <laughs> this is the whole Daniel and Tita podcast, believe that. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. I'm just um, excited for the games. and Definitely, um, yeah. And, and um, I'm just, you know, the team's coming back together. So, um Check them out and, um, you know, check out the NBA and, you know, and let me know what you think of or who you think of win coming out the bubble. We yep. know it won't be the Lakers, so that's number one. We can all agree on that. Yep. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I don't that. know. <laughs> I, I don't know. That. I don't know. It's, we it's, can agree on that. It's, it's going to be interesting. I'll say that. It won't be LeBron. So, so David says something about the Seahawks. We ain't worried about him. No, no. Leave David alone. It's not but, football yeah, season yeah, yet, yeah. man. We ain't worried about football. He's always talking about football. It's like September. Tell him when the Cowboys get get good. We'll Whatever. Talk. It's, uh, all, it's all good, David. Anyway, what's, what's going on, dude? The Cowboys garbage. <laughs> but that's all for the lean perspective, all right, man. Miss. That's the lean perspective. Just oh, okay. highlight our uh, sponsors real quick. <laughs> Give them a last shout out. <laughs> www.waywordkid.com your site for all your entertainment news sports and lifestyle trends I also have the Wayward Kid Foundation and your editing programs for the kids and adults mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we also got Kiwi Juice Bar with your all natural smoothies sports nutrition supplements fresh pressed juices gourmet coffee and tea protein bars healthy snacks and nutritional education and we got I shine, you shine, we shine, we shine detailing, make your car shine like new. Yep. And I forgot, um, like the Facebook page, Wayward Kid. Mm -hmm. Like the Facebook page, Kiwi Juice Bar. Like the Facebook page, We Shine Detailing. Also like. follow uh, Wayward Kid online, IG, Kiwi Juice Bar, IG, We Shine Car Detailing, IG. And then we have Butch's Wings and Things. Come get these wings. You know what I'm saying? They got the, all the, the food plates on deck. Mm -hmm. um, follow Butch's 
Wings and Things on Facebook and follow them on or follow them on IG like the Facebook page. That's Butchers with a Z, Wings with a Z, and Things with a Z. And we got novels by Z. The game isn't only for boys. Experience the game told from the other side. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. we got Miss Joanna Muhammad as our top donator. She's coming up coming out with a book very soon. So stay tuned. Definitely, definitely. And like our Facebook page, Daniel and Tita Podcast. Start to our YouTube channel, Daniel and Tita. Listen, Listen to the to Daniel, Daniel and Tita, Tita Podcast. Podcast. Spotify and all your sites. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are two new sponsors. Uh, Trinity Solutions. Trinity Solutions. Shout out to them. We're going to give you some more information next week. And we have KT Gibson. With the Chinese food. <laughs> no man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> new song, no man. The video actually is on YouTube right now, so check that out. Also, turn On the low, man. So tell them about the uh, LOC. All right. Now, we have the Phoenix LOC, uh, Local Organizing Committee for Justice or Else. You can find us on Facebook at PHX LOC. Um, and also, you can look us up on the web, phoenixloc.org. Um, and that's how you can find us. And we're the same Phoenix LOC on all platforms, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. Most Dope, definitely. Man. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in we and watching live. You, it's yeah. the Daniel Tita Podcast. We, we out. Holla, holla. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>